Okay, Charles LeBlanc here, and I, uh, I've just seen, uh, sorry, just got some news here. Okay, so there's an editorial in the Irving Media, and we know the headline is Espan Mental Health Court. I never read it. Uh, Reno, I've been fighting for years and years and years. The police, the, especially the Fredericton police, they work together with the Attorney General Office and the Justice Department. They socialize. Romance, can you say Paul Esty? Anyway, they're together to go after the less fortunate, people with mental illness, the natives. They work together and force the person that you know, they charge them with summary rape, summary assault. And what does that mean is you don't have the right to a lawyer. Well, Charles, everybody has the right to a lawyer. Idiots! Uh, legal aid will not give you a lawyer because there's little chance of you going to jail. There's no preliminary hearing to find out there's enough evidence. 99% of the time, these people with mental illness will plead guilty because they have no choice. And then they fart on the street, then they're sentenced to jail. This, this, this is how they do it. I've been fighting with this for years. Let's see what the Irving editorial says. Excuse my speech impediment. Okay, impediment is it? Okay, here we go. Mental health issues are at the heart of many social ill, including poverty, violence, and crime. Well, we have a long way to go, duh. Society has become gradually more aware of how mental health problems can be very serious. Just like physical health problems, we have historically failed to give people who are affected necessary support and treatment. But what is the definition of a mental illness? That's what I want to know. Is people don't know the system. They don't understand the, the system. You know, never mind. Focus, Charles. This is why effort to see social effect of mental illness as a system rather than a crime or a step forward for human humane culture. In many cases, antisocial behavior, voila, is a result of illness. Oh, so I do have an Ill illness. Not malice. Oh no, I'm half Scottish. Um, my God, three, two minutes in this, it's too long. We help, we help no one by imposing criminal penalties on someone who really ought to be in the treatment program. They've been trying to send me there for years. Uh, New Brunswick used to be a leader in such policies with St. John's Mental Health Court, which existed from 2000 to 2013. So successful was the project that such cities as Winnipeg and Halifax bought their own base on the St. John model. The program, unfortunately, was put on ice, a disappointment given its success. But I, what, I think they were just the young, the young kids with mental issues. Okay, you be a good boy now. Now, what about the adults? Voila. But now, the Horizon Health Network is being, is bringing back the program to the port city after four years absent. Yeah, what about Fredericton? We are encouraged by the news and hope it will eventually be implanted across the province and beyond. The program founder, Judge, understood it, it made little sense to continue trying sentences repeat offenders. Uh, underlining cause and the behavior when on address under the mental health docket, a charge could be delayed, even eventually waived together. That was just the kids. As a recent future in the Daily Gleaner explained, the program is not a walk in the park for someone accused of a crime or falsely accused. Voila, especially when they raid your place and say you were exploiting children. Just stories made up by the Fredericton Police Force. Assholes. Okay, focus, Charles. Uh, when the accused is aware of his and her action, is deemed criminally responsible and had someone in the courtroom suggest the mental health docket is an alternative to criminal punishment. Yeah, but what's a mental illness? What's the definition if a person doesn't understand the system? You know, it's a shame that the program was put on ice in 2013 and now the mental health docket is back operation in St. John. The rest of New Brunswick should take notice and bring in their own version. The innovative program 
is an example how communities can devise their own solution to many social problems without having to be directed from the top or the legal or political food chain. When these experiments work, they can form a framework for other communities to adopt. Boy, it sounds good, huh? We hope that the mental health doctor will become a well bower model for other jurisdiction by addressing come on hurry up by addressing the true source of many crime we do right by resident and helping to prevent racism what the hell is that word r e c i d i v i s m and we do right we do right by mentally ill person who committed crimes by giving them the help they need it's then it's then a punishment that further sets them back so okay mr irving you did good good editorial but we're still going with this issue that the police are working together with the attorney general with the people in the justice department my god we Next year, we're going to be confronting the uh, the politician. They have stenographers in the course. I'll, I'll say the word right. The one that types the computer. Uh, types of what is said in the courtroom. So if you take a printout, you see everything. Did you know we have one that deletes stuff that makes the prosecutor look bad? And I guess mental people with mental issues and she deletes. Stay tuned. There's a lot of things to do, but they... They don't communicate and talk to people like us. They go with letters, letters, uh, paperwork uh, with the bureaucrats. Not the less fortunate and not people with mental illness. So stay tuned.